want to talk to you anyway. About what? You still work for Gaza? Yeah, sure. Why don't you talk to him about me? Well, I just don't think Gaza's hiring right now, you know? You know? Come on. The girl's drying up. Who? My sister. If she don't start living, her body's gonna dry up. You know, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, you know that? Mm -hmm. Why don't you come over and talk to her? Sure. Here. Tomorrow you come for some bird, right? Absolutely. You got it. I gotta go. From 10 minutes late, she calls the house. Paulie! I got it. Bicentennial fight with Mac Lee Green here in Philadelphia at the fabulous Spectrum. Harry? You're speaking now of your much publicized bicentennial fight. That's right. This is going to be the greatest sporting event in the country's history. A gala occurrence with me beating Green like he committed a crime. Would you take a Still look at that guy? The heavyweight championship I mean, where the, the real fight is going to come the from? The pros. What we got today are jig clowns. On January 1st. The first major event in the country's oh. history. Try clown. And in keeping with great events throughout the country's history, Apollo Creed will duplicate the cracking of the Liberty Bell by cracking Mac Lee Green. Okay. You call Apollo Creed a clown? Do you oh, have any quick advice for young boxing hopefuls? Stay in school and use your brain. Be a doctor, be a lawyer, carry a leather briefcase. Forget about sports as a profession. Sports make you grunt and smell. See, be a thinker. Not a sticker. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, champ. Yeah, Jerry Simpson. Craziest man is champion in the world. He took his best shot and become champ. Huh? What shot did you ever take? Well, I guess hey, Rocky, you're not happy with your life. It's nice. Me, I got a business going. I don't have to take no shots. No one having gone more than 12 right. rounds with him, and that was Jake Dale. Took last that up your business. You're so insulted. Want me to take a shot? All right. I'll take a shot. Hey, Rocky, how about a bottle, huh? No wine. Come on. 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 Come you know, when I was your age, there was only one girl in the whole neighborhood that talked like that. You know what I mean? That was it, just one. What are you doing? Well, I'll make your teeth yellow. Don't do that. I like yellow teeth. I'll make your breath like garbage. Maybe I like garbage. Come on, nobody likes garbage. Anyway, this girl with the dirty mouth, she wasn't bad looking, but you see, none of the guys ever took her serious, you see? They never took her out for any serious date. Why? Because that's the way guys are. They laugh when you talk dirty, they think you're cute. But after a while, you get a reputation. That's it. You get no respect. You understand? You get no respect. I gotta use a bad word. Whore. You understand? Whore. See, you use dirty words and maybe you end up becoming a whore. You understand? Hey, that don't matter to you, 12. It don't matter. You don't really have to be one. You just act like one, and that's it. Boom. Hey, you get a bad rep. You understand? 20 years from now, 20 years from now, people are gonna say, hey, you remember Marie? No, who's she? Uh, she's a little whore that hung down the atomic hoagie shop. Oh, yeah, 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 now I remember her. You see, they don't remember you, they remember the rep. You understand? Hey, you got a boyfriend? No, you ain't got a boyfriend. You know why? Why don't you think you have a boyfriend? Because you're hanging out with them coconuts in the corner, you understand? You hang out with them coconuts, you get nowhere. They're lemons, lemons. You hang out with nice people, you get nice friends, you understand? You hang out with smart people, you get smart friends. You hang out with yo-yo people, you get yo-yo friends. You see, simple math, math. I hope you ain't going to What was I going to say? You hope I don't keep acting like a whore, I'll turn into one, right? Yeah, something like that. Good night, Rocky. Good night, Marie. Take care, you know? Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo. Yeah, who are you to give advice, Creepo? Huh? Who are you? Are the doctor's reports confirmed? Definitely. 
Says here, Mackley Green has suffered a severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Okay. Of course, we can cancel the fight indefinitely if you're set on fighting Green. Hey, it ain't just Green. Now, what about all the time Apollo was invested? I believe we can find a solution. Solution? Nothing. Now, you better find me another rank contender, and I mean in Flash Jurgens. Don't play games with my client. Apollo's already done a million dollars worth of publicity, has made contractual obligations with 20 different organizations. He's not going to be embarrassed. I contacted Ernie Roman's manager. Ernie's fighting in France that same week. And get me Buddy Shaw. Hell, he's ranked fifth. Went to California and gained 50 pounds. I get hold of every worthwhile contender, and they all say the same thing. Five weeks just isn't enough time to get into shape. Oh, a shape? Nothing, man. They're afraid. Hell, they know everybody in the world's going to see this fight, and none of them got a prayer whipping me. So they're making excuses so they don't have to be the chump to get whipped in front of the whole civilized world. All I can say is I'm a good promoter. I've promoted fights in every goddamn country in the world and I've broken my ass over this one. But I don't know what the hell else to do. I do. Without a ranked contender, what this fight is going to need is a novelty. This is the land of opportunity, right? So Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. A snow white underdog, and I'm going to put his face on this poster with me. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm sentimental. And a lot of other people in this country are just as sentimental, and there's nothing they'd like better than to see Apollo Creed give a local Philadelphia boy a shot at the greatest title in the world on this country's biggest birthday. That's the way I see it. And that's the way it's going to be. Apollo, I like it. It's very American. You know, Jurgens, it's very smart. Check this thing out. You, know, you said pick up two yards from Schneider and a grand from Capoli, right? No, 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 no. Two yards from Capoli oh, and a grand from Schneider. Two okay, yards. Write it down, two yards. Okay? Yeah, I got it. Got it. Now, who's this girl you're going out with tomorrow night? How'd you know? Ah, uh, you know. Don't you think I hear things? A lot of canaries flying around the docks. I'm going out with Paulie's sister. <laughs> hey, Ralph. What? Hey, she's retarded. She ain't retarded. She's shy, you know? I'll tell you what to do. Take her to the zoo. 